Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com hourly analysis for the Aussie dollar US dollar FX for Tuesday, March the 1st, 2011. Well, the market uh, was previously trading up above the cloud when uh, we have uh, markets trading above the cloud in Ichimoku charts terms, they have a, an overall positive bias. And through the course of today's trading, we've seen this market trade uh, into the cloud test just below the cloud and now for this final hour of trading we have a very very bearish uh, candle. The market uh, was uh, uh, testing outside of the cloud here previously in the previous few hours of trading and we had some very indecisive candles as the market was trading outside of those areas. Uh, in the third last hour of trading here the market attempted to rally back into the cloud and found resistance there. We can see the shadows on the top of these candles here that represent sellers coming in. In this final hour of trading here, we actually saw the market rally once again to the bottom of the cloud and then the sellers came in back uh, back into the market with a vengeance and sold the market off significantly. Um, we have a few areas of support and resistance uh, highlighted through uh, uh, here down below the uh, market where it's currently trading and where the market was uh, finding support. Uh, previously, we had resistance at uh, here at around uh, 101.370. The market tested up, up above that level, which coincided with the bottom of the cloud. And then previously, we had a previous area of uh, an area of resistance uh, around 101.231. And the market found support at that level. In this last hour of trading, the market blew those levels away in, in, a, in a big way with a very bearish candle. And uh, we are now looking down to around uh, uh, this level here, which is around 100923 for potential support. We do have support down below there, extending down to around uh, 1003. To one, um, but the important thing is that we have this very large zone that I've highlighted in yellow, where the market may potentially find support anywhere through here. So it is a very big level, but uh, the market can trade uh, quite a fair bit lower than where it's trading at the moment um, before it does uh, find potential support. But that that first level is ran roughly around 1009. Um, now, if the market does rally, then some of these previous areas that we looked at as um, support can turn into resistance. So this area here, around 101.2, just above there, can potentially offer support, and then certainly up around 101.4, we may have, uh, no, sorry, can offer resistance. Uh, we also have potential resistance up at the cloud, which extends from 101.4.5 up to around 107.5. Now, uh, with this bearishness down below the cloud now, we'd have to say that we've had follow-through from this breakout down below the cloud, and the market is uh, now in a bearish mode in big picture terms, and we do have a uh, an Ichimoku uh, sell signal by the market uh, breaking out down below there. The market's also trading below the Kijin Sen and Tenkin Sen, and that's quite significant. Um, we do now have a bearish market in terms of the medium term and fast term time frames on the hourly charts as well. The uh, Both of the Tenkin Sen and Kijun Sen are also pointing down fairly sharply, reflecting the good, strong downside momentum that we have in the market. Now, this uh, candle here at the right hand edge of the chart has only just begun, and it looks like the market is rallying. So, if we do see the market not test down below, the low of this previous candle and rally from here, then we do have uh, potentially a tweezers bottom. Um, but uh, we would need the market to uh, continue rallying from this area. Um, looking at bigger picture terms as well, the market is now in a second time frame downtrend. We have a series of lower peaks and lower troughs. So we have a peak, a trough, a lower peak, a lower trough as we took out that area. A, uh, here's another lower trough, a lower peak and a lower trough here again, so uh, a fairly bearish market. We haven't seen the market uh, trending down in terms of that for quite some time, uh, so it's uh, probably fairly significant that the market might be testing le levels lower and certainly down perhaps to around 1007 or even lower than that, down to around 1004.5.